the to the white cop shoot the black man before they came over. Beautiful, and that's a beautiful thing what you said. I agree with you, Jay. Right. But here's the thing now. Now that goes back to why we're out here now. Right. You understand that? We're going to the Israelites teaching them the greatest commandments, which is love thy neighbor as thyself. We don't apply that. That's why we're in the state that we're in. Read Matthew 22 again, real quick. Come here, real quick, Jay. Come here, man. The, the question should be, am I a, doing what it takes to make it into the kingdom of heaven, right? Who's the kingdom of heaven for? Is Can everybody make it? No. Who's the kingdom of heaven for? What's your nationality, Jay? Yeah, somebody, if you're filling out a job um, application, and they ask you what your nationality was, what would you say? Uh, black, African American, Negro, Native American, what, what, what's your nationality? Other, why would you put other? It don't matter. It doesn't matter? You sure it doesn't matter? Okay. Let me ask you a question. If, 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 it, if it matter, mm -hmm. if it matter, then that would be discrimination. That would be discrimination, right? Yeah. Now, can black people be racist or discriminate? Yeah. Yeah? How? The same way they can. So let me ask you a question. Do you control, do black people control the jobs that we get in society? No. Do black people control the level of the, the areas that we live in? They can. No, you can't. Can. You ever heard of redlining, Jay? Yeah. You ever heard of that? What does that mean? What's redlining? And that's the problem with our people, Jay. Go ahead. Say what you're about to say. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Go ahead. Give me do what we're trying to show you, Jay, is that the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're actually the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. Now, the thing is, you mentioned our people have a stigma about themselves. They don't want to be classified as racist. They don't want to be classified as discriminating against others, right? You want to love everybody, right? But does everybody love you, Jay? No. No? So what is your job? First, you got to learn to love yourself and love your people. The problem is we don't do that. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Well, we're showing you you're the Israelites according to the Bible and we're suffering the curses from God. 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. That's your people's Jack? Tell me come over here real quick. It says that the Most High God, if we don't do all his commandments and his statutes, that this day that all these curses are going to come upon us. Read. Okay. I, that I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Hey, how y'all doing today? What's your name, bro? You've been being aware for a broad river route. Definitely, definitely, all day, right? I was over in the plaza by Subway. And we over there now in the plaza by Subway, right? What we're trying to show... Jay, that's your that's your son? That's my brother-in-law. That's your brother-in-law? What we're trying to show... Daddy. You know how that goes. What we're trying to show our people is that with it. How you doing, sis? Come here. We're going over nationality according to the Bible, right? What we're trying to show our people is there's no way in the world a black man in America can be considered a racist. There's no way you can be considered racist. The problem is that mindset was putting us into slavery so that we don't love ourselves. We actually love the people that brutalize us and oppress us more than we love our own people. You understand that? Read that. Read verse 48. Let me show you something about this. I'm going to ask you who's going through these curses today, Jay. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. 
and hunger? Now let me ask you a question, Jay. When we want it, when you need something to eat, who do we go to to get our food? Yeah, who do, as a nation of people, who runs the food industry? Who do we have to go to to go and buy this candy today for, for this holiday? Where do we go? Where are these stores around here? Now, what nation of people, who, who runs these stores? Does our people own the stores? They could. It's not about, let's, be, let's deal practically. Does our people own these stores? No. No, we don't, right? Read. It's a, Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies. So the Most High God said the children of Israel is going to serve their enemies now. Do you consider the other nations of people your enemies? No. Huh? I, I know you don't, right? But let me ask you a question real quick. Serve your enemies. Check this out. Did this happen to our people right here? Did all this happen to us? What people did this happen? I'm just asking a question. But why did it happen? Hey, that's what we're showing you. Why? Why, do you, why do you say it happened? Why did it happen? Why did it happen, Jay? Who sold the black man to the white God? Let me show you why it happened. Read verse 15 again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. But you ask, why did it happen? It happened because we went against God's laws, statutes, and commandments. It happened as a people. There's no way in the world another nation can take another nation. Now, what you mentioned was heavy. Because we're told that Africans sold Africans. Oh, we sold our own people into slavery, right? That's, that was your premise, right? The, the, the white guy ain't know nothing about no slavery. He wanted to know why that black, how that black man can get the other black people to do what he said. You want to know why? So Get your well chapter three. Get your well chapter three. Let me show you something real quick, brother. Because you think that, are we related to the Africans? Are we? The, the answer is no. In Africa, you have your Nilotic Africans, which come from the seed of Ham. Israelites are from Shem. Africans, we didn't sell our own people. What you must understand, this is not about color here. Africans sold Israelites into slavery. They are our enemies, just like the white man, just like the Arab man. All the other nations are our enemies. Read Joel chapter 3. Joel chapter 3, verse 1. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. The valley of Jehoshaphat is the valley of decision. Why does the most I have to have that valley of decision? Why does he have to bring recompense against the other nations? Read. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel. He said he's going to plead with them. That you heard of World War III? Why do you think that's going to happen? Because that's all happening for our own salvation. The Most High God said he's going to plead with his people for them, with his people, for his people. Read. Whom they have scattered among the nations Read. and parted my land. And parted his land. What land did they part? What land is everyone fighting over today? What land are the Arabs and the white man fighting over? They're all filled over there. They're all filled over there, the land of Israel, right? And in Saudi Arabia and in Africa, they're all fighting over all that land, right? It said, and parted my land though, read. And they have cast lots for my people. They have cast lots for God's people, now read. And I've given a boy for an holiday. They've given a boy for an holiday because in slavery, what was our men made to do? There was a breeder camp, right? They men, our men were made breeders. If a man looked like a big, strong, healthy buck, he would take another slave woman, and she would sit there and be forced to sleep with that man in order to bring forth more slaves. Our men were made breeders read. And sold a girl for wine. And sold a little girl for wine. That's your daughter? That's your cousin? What if someone would take your cousin when she turned about 11, 12 years old and say, hey, we're going to use her to make a baby with that buck over there. Or we're going to take her, sell her for wine, and guess what? She's going to sleep with the other slave masters around. We're going to... That didn't happen to our people? That, that did, right? You know, I ain't talking about what could. We know what it is. Read. And, so, and, and sold a girl for wine. And sold a girl for wine. You Would your friends do that to you? Would your friends take your wife and sleep with her? Would your friends take your little daughter and sleep with her and, and turn her into a harlot? Just pass her around to any 
any so-called white man that was out there. Would your friends do that? We're out here because our people are lost. I asked you what your nationality was. You said it doesn't matter. Yet, our people identify themselves with African-American, black, Negro, all that stuff that our oppressors gave us. We were not African-Americans from the start. You feel out like other because you don't know who you are. You don't. So when we ask you what your nationality is, you make a mockery of it. What we're telling you is you're actually better than just some other on a piece of paper. That's right. You're better than a black man. You're better than an African-American. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. Yeah, That's why we come out here and teach our people. But you want to you go back and forth, right? Read that again. Read, 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 read. read. Verse 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem. So the children of Judah, that's your southern kingdom, and the children of Jerusalem. What did the Africans, What? hey, Jay, check it out. What did the Africans and the Arabs do? The children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem, what did they do? Have you sold unto the Greeks? Have you did what? Sold unto the Greeks. What did, the, what did they do? Sold unto the Greeks. Now, who are the Greeks? Who are the Grecians, Jay? White then the white people. So they said that the Tyrian Zidon, those are Hamatic Africans, and the coast of Palestine, your yeah, Arabs, sold them to the Grecians. That's your history in the Bible right there. Right. So you ask, how did it happen? Why did it happen, right? Let me show you why it happened. Did that, did that clear it up for you, though? That black people sold black people into slavery. That's what you told me, but guess what? You said that we did it to ourselves. We didn't do it to ourselves. Right. The Africans sold Israelites into slavery. Right. The Africans have a seat at the United Nations, don't they? So, so on, on the application. Let me ask you a question. What, what, did you, what did you fill out on the application? I put African American. You know why? You know why? Pippa Rook 3 and 8. Do you know why? Bring it out. I understand that I'm an Israelite according to the Bible, right? Right. But I also understand that I got to deal with these curses that the Most High God put upon us as a nation of people in order to survive in here. Right. Right? Give me Baruch 3 verse 8. Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Read Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Baruch, that was Jeremiah's scribe. Right? All of our forefathers in the Bible understood that we were in captivity. Right. The so-called black man today does not understand that. Then that's why we have to go out and teach you that, yes, brother, you are an Israelite according to the Bible. You are serving your enemies because you do not keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. We have our babies out here buying, selling, celebrating wicked holidays that our oppressors force us to, to buy, right. to, to do. Right. You understand that? Look at the babies. Hey, how y'all doing today? Y'all like the candies for Halloween? You doing Halloween, right? Do you celebrate Christmas? You see what I'm saying? All of those holidays are holidays from our oppressors. Right. And what we're out here to do is teach our people we must come out of that foolishness. Read that again. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Can I ask you a question? Are we a slave, Jay? Are we in captivity? Read. Let me show you something. Read. Well, they have scattered us. Where the most I scattered us, read. For a reproach uh -huh. and a curse. Let me ask you a question. You're not a slave. Do the other nations love you as a people? Does a so-called white man love us, Jay? Do they love us? We don't love us, though. Exactly. So we out here showing up and we must start learning to love each other, though. Right. Uh, it comes with first knowing who we are. But the right. thing is, do they love us, Jay? Why we got a group called Black Lives Matter? Why do we have to create that organization? That, that, that just come up, man. I, now, why do we have to create it, Jay? I don't know why they created it. What you mean? Because our people are getting shot down by the enemy daily, Jay. Right. What do you mean? But, but, but we shoot each other. We, we shoot each other. Exactly. Okay, so now, like, now, now, let's get back to your premise now. So why, so why are we out here, Jay? Why did he wait till the, till, the, till the white cop shoot the black man before they came up beautiful. with Beautiful. And that's a beautiful thing what you said. I agree with you, Jay. Right. But here's the thing now. Now that goes back to why we're out here now. Right. You understand that? We're going to the Israelites teaching them the greatest commandments, which is love thy neighbor as thyself. We don't apply that. That's why we're in the state that we're in. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
My familia is the 12. Now go to Matthew 22. Let's deal with that. That's a beautiful thing, bro. And Jay, what you understand is, I agree with you. We're not arguing. But the thing is now, I want you to see why we come out here and why it's important for you to know who you are. Matthew 22, 36, read. 36. Verse 36. Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? So somebody asked Christ, who is the greatest commandment in the law? Our job is to teach our people to stop hating each other. Right. We kill each other way more than the other nations kill us. But the biggest thing that those nations can do is keep us from our true nationality and heritage, Jay. And that's our problem. You understand that? By not accepting the fact that you're not African-American, you're not black, you're an Israelite, and it matters that you're an Israelite. That's our problem, Lee. Right. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. So guess what? We're out here to teach our people what the love of God is and how to love God, Jay. Right. You understand that? And read on, read on. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. What does that mean now? Because you ask. I'm not going to make it, but I'm doing that, right? What does love thy neighbor as thyself mean, Jay? Get Romans 13. So let me ask you a question. Do we love each other as a nation of people now? You just, you just said that we kill each other now. You just said, so we don't, right? So how do we fix that? How do we fix our community, Jay? We start with yourself first. We start with God. We start with the Most High God first, Jay. And we start with applying God's laws to our life, Jay. You understand that? But it does start with yourself. Read that Romans 13. Start at verse 8. Verse 8. Oh, no man anything but to love one another. When we come back to God's laws, we know that the only thing that I owe you, Jay, is to love you, Jay. And what we're out here doing is showing our brothers and sisters love today. Right. You understand that? They may not take it as love, but that's who, I don't owe you nothing but to love you, Jay Reed. For he that love another has fulfilled the law. So if we fulfill the law once we love each other, right? But how do we love each other now, Jay? How do we love each other? How do you love? How do you love? It's love, man. What does that mean? You love your, you love your, your cousins, right? You love your, you love your, your cousins? All right, so you love them. How do you show them that you love them? <laughs> you don't know? Let's read on, read on. Check this out. Read. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. If you love your neighbor as you love yourself, you're not going to commit adultery. Now, is adultery a commandment? One of the ten? Yeah. Right? So if you love your neighbor, you're not going to lust after and sleep with another man's wife. Right. That's love. Love is an action word. Read. Thou shalt not kill. If you love your neighbor as yourself, Jay, there would not be no black on black crime. You would not go out there and join a gang and try to kill your brothers and sisters. Right. That's love right there. Read. Thou shalt not steal. If you love your neighbor as yourself, Jay, are you going to steal from, from their parents? Are you going to steal from the babies? Are you going to steal from their parents? Are you going to steal? Do you steal from your mother? No. Or your father? No. You wouldn't, right? Why wouldn't you? Because you love them. Be because you love them. Right. Read. Thou shalt not bear false witness. We all tell lies. Maybe a little lie, a big lie, but we all tell lies. But if you love your neighbor as yourself, are you going to bear false witness and lie on them for them to get put in jail or, or them to get persecuted and, and, and they didn't do anything? Would you lie on them? Read. Thou shalt not covet. You shall not covet anything that your neighbor has, whether it's their house, their car, their wife, their daughter, their son, whatever it is, you should not covet them. Read. And if there be any other commandment, it says if there be any other commandment, what are you going to do? How you doing, bro? It is briefly comprehended in this saying, Read. namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. That's what we got to come back to as a community. Because we told you, we brought out the white man for a reason. But you turn us on the path, we killing each other. Because we don't have God's laws embedded in us and we refuse to keep God's laws. We don't understand what it means to love our neighbor as ourselves. So when we come out here, we're teaching each other how to love one another again. You understand that? And now people need to learn that. 
The babies need to learn that. All of our people need to learn that. Read. Love will give no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. So love is the... Hey, bro, come here real quick in the play. What's your name, bro? My name is Q. Your name Q? Yeah. What's going on with you, Q? I heard what you were saying. That's why I look back. I was listening to what you were saying. You got a flyer? No, I didn't Somebody give, give, give Q a flyer real quick. I'm going to ask you a question, Q, because we were dealing with Jay, right? What's your nationality, Q? Nationality? Yeah. Black. Black, right? Let me ask you a question. What does black mean? Who told you you were black, Q? Oh, yeah, basically, America told you you were black. America told you you were black, right? Yeah. Our job, get Isaiah 1, verse 3. Well, we're out here doing is showing our people who you are according to the Bible so that you can come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments. Read that. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Bring it out. The ox knows his owner, and the ass is master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. God says that his people does not even consider who they are and who their God is, who their homeland is. Q, that's why when I ask you, what, what land, of, what does black mean? Your, your oppressors gave you. What we're showing you is that you're an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. And as a black man, Jesus Christ comes from your lineage. Right. The numbers on the flyer back there, but well, I gotta show you something real quick though, Jay. I mean Q. Let me show you something real quick before you go. Right? The question should be how do we know that we Israelites, right? How do we how can we tell by any shadow of a doubt? We know that based off of what's written in the Bible about our people. And that the Bible is written to our people for our people. So one let me let me show you one thing for two minutes and then I'll let you go. Does the Bible talk about our slavery? Our slavery specifically. You know they don't. It doesn't? No. It doesn't. They don't, they don't, they don't talk about our slavery like that. In the Bible. They don't really talk about this at all in the Bible. Alright, so now slavery. Oh good good I like that. We get we get we get one month of us. That's it. That's black history, right? That's it. What we're showing you is the Bible is your black history in the Bible. That's right. But now, let me show you something though, real quick. How do we get over here as a nation of people, the black man? How did the black man get over here in America? I mean, we came over on boats. We on boats, right? Slave we ships. We to be better than them. That's all. They, we, we create everything. Where's the slave ships? We, 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 we create everything. Like, we create everything. Right. We came over on cargo. They want, they want to be like us. They so do, but, but, but then why are we in this place? That, why are we serving them then? Right. Exactly. My point. That's your point, right? We're what? talented as a nation. But we why are we serving them? Because a lot of people don't know no better. Let me show you something. Get Deuteronomy 28, verse 47. Let me show you why we are serving. We don't, what, what don't we know though? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. The reason why we're the greatest people on earth, but we're underneath these people now, is because we don't serve God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. But it's also because we allow ourselves to be there. Exactly. Read. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. Therefore shall you do what? Serve thine enemy. No, he's telling you the reason why we're in the servitude now. We're the greatest people on earth. We're the best at everything, Jay. I mean, Q. We're the best at everything. But we're serving them because we refuse to keep God's laws. We ask the we ask the citizens passing by. It says, "Come talk." No, hell no. They act like we against them. Yeah, but also the, the problem is you gotta make a lot of people open their eyes. A lot of people want to keep their eyes. And that's why we come out here. We know people don't want to hear us, but guess what? We have somebody's gonna hear, and that's all that matters. We. Therefore, shall I serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness. For everything that we need, read. And in what? Of all things. Everything that we need, we're going to have to serve these people now. The people that hate our guts. Now, actually, if our slavery was in the Bible, right? Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Say, so he's going to put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Read. Until he has destroyed thee. Let me ask you a question now. That yoke of iron upon your neck. Who did that happen to? Who did this happen to? What nation of people? Who had to go through this? Who did that happen to? Africans? That's not your people? So that happened to... That happened to... Not, well, everybody black is not our people, right? Because we just went over. Africans actually sold us to the so-called white man. That's true. Right? So... so they, they did. They did. Right. So would that make them your friends? No, so they're not our people. You understand? And now some of our people are in Africa. Don't get it right. twisted. 
there are some Israelites in Africa, but there's Hamitic tribes and there's um and there's Shemitic tribes. You're not Lotic and your Bantus. That's the difference, right? So he says he's gonna put a yoke of iron upon our neck until he has destroyed thee, right? Give me slave ships, 28, 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ship. He said he's gonna take the Israelites into slavery again on slave ships. Right. Who did that happen to? Q. It happened to us. It happened to us, right? So is your slavery written in the Bible? We're reading it. We're reading it. Read. By the way, Lord, I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. We shall be sold unto our enemies, Q. We are in our enemies' hands now. Now we're here with our enemies. Exactly. So what are we supposed to do now? Read. For bond men, for slave men, and bond women, and slave women, read. And no man shall buy you. No physical man is going to redeem us. So, they still buy them. They're just giving us paychecks. Exactly. But now the question should be, how do we get, do, are you happy being like this? Oh, no. no. So, so how, what is our way out then? They buy you. They give you How do we get out of that though? Right. We got to be black men to own our own businesses. You never, never let me, let me. paying them, making them rich while they sit back and drink here galatas. You know what I'm saying? We got to own our own business. I want to see a black man with his own business. Is your business really going to benefit, hit, prosper while these dudes are actually running the government, though? Bring it out! Bring it out! No. Facts. Exactly. So let me ask you a question. The main thing you must understand is that you are not black. Right. You're actually an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's right, the first right, thing. Right, right. Once you acknowledge that, bro, sure then you can start applying God's laws to your life and get and we, Hey, let me, let me tell you something straight up. We see this and we hate this for our people. You know why? Because we were once involved in it. Right. And it leads to nothing but more confusion, more darkness, and we stay asleep as a people. Right. And that leads us to continue in the state that we're in. First Kings 8. Yeah, they hate our property. They, they, they don't want to prosper. They don't like the sales. They right. don't, and they're not, why would they, they want us to prosper when we're their slaves? Yeah, exactly. They don't like to see, like, you know what? I'd rather shop with a black man before I shop with any other race. And because, you know why? I want to support my brother. You do, right? But is that the case, though? Do you spend most of your money with the black man or most of your money with the other nations? I, I, I spend most of my money with black man. If I know a black man owns business, I'm going to shop for him. Yeah, but when you go into your grocery store, you buy it from a black grocery store? Like they, don't do no, they don't do no good service. I don't like, I don't what grocery like, store you like? What grocery store I like? What grocery store you go to? So you don't go, you, we don't get your groceries from nowhere? We got it for Food Lion, though. Like like but who run, who run Food Lion, though? Yeah, white man. The white man. We spend most of all, damn near all of our money with the so-called white man. Here's what we got to do, Q. First Kings chapter eight, verse forty-seven. Yet if they, if they shall be feeding themselves in a land where they were carried captives, so our job now is to try and invoke some type of thought in our people. Our people may not want to hear it. They may not. They may not care to think that we're bothering them right now on their happy day. But our job is to make you think about. What your true nationality is, what are you supposed to be doing? You, know. you must understand that you're not an African American. Right. You must start be thinking yourself. You mentioned, all of us think that. Hey, sis, can I ask you a question? Is the black man and woman the greatest people at everything on this planet? We are the greatest people at everything. We're the best at everything, right? We're, we're the greatest people. Now, what does that mean Everybody to you, though? Everybody copy us. Why, why, are we, why are we the best at everything, but we're serving think, the other think, nation? Think about it. Everybody copy us, right? Am I wrong? Right? Everybody does, right? Even with hip hop. Money, music, all that stuff, businesses, intelligence, they copy us. But, 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 and now, so we're that great people. Why in the world are we serving them? Back to that question. There you go. That's what I'm saying. Because we don't keep God's laws. Right. We identify ourselves as African American and black instead of as a prince that has power with God. Right. That's what Israel means. You have power with God, bro. Matter of fact, get that dude, um, Genesis 32. You got power with God. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.